Herbal remedies, certainly popular around the Bowers household, as well as <laughs> my household as well, with the essential oils, and it's becoming quite popular. That's right. Well, herbal remedies have grown in popularity as traditional and natural medicine has also gained interest nationwide. But how often are you using the herb of the year? Ooh, the big announcement. Do you even know what it is? No. In today's Lost Creek Care Center health segment, Mark is with Dr. Trudy Pieper, who will tell you why you want this herb as a part of your diet. Well, it's perhaps not as well known as the Emmys or the Dove Awards, but recently the International Herb Association announced savory as the 2015 Herb of the Year. We're joined now by Dr. Trudy Pieper from Phoenix Wellness Center in Johnstown, Ohio. And Dr. Trudy, herbs are one of those things where I, I think most folks, they think of herbs, they think, well, that they'll give us some seasoning, but herbs, particularly savory, have got some really good health properties as well. They do. Um, it's been around for 2,000 years, savory. Most people are not aware of it. It's, it's almost always known as the bean herb. If you're cooking beans, you put, should put savory in with it because it helps stop the gas. So that's one of the medicinal uh, side effects of the, the herb. It has, um, there are two types of savory. One's a shrub that's called winter savory, and then there's a, a perennial that is summer. And both of them have great uh, qualities. It's from the mint family. And you can use them, uh, grind it up, and then put them in rubs. They're great for uh, stews and any kind of cooking that you're doing. I think that's one of the great things about herbs is that, like you said, you can just throw them into like a stew or a soup, use it as a rub. It's a way to get some important nutrients into the body without necessarily realizing it. And it's been, uh, for 2,000 years, people have used it. Started with the Greeks to the Romans. Romans brought it to England. England, the American colonists brought it over with them when they came. And it's interesting, they use it to plant around beehives because they think that it makes the honey better. And then commercially, uh, if you like the taste of uh, salami, you're tasting savory because they commercially use it in salami making. What are some other herbs that have got benefits other than just adding taste? Well, it, 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 typically all herbs have medicinal qualities. And I think that as a doctor of naturopathic medicine, for me, I'm, I'm an herbologist at heart. I love my herbs and to cook with them is fine. But I think it's more important what we can use them for to heal our bodies. And obviously we've already talked about it helps with gas. It also is good for digestion upsets. If you have a little um, nervous stomach or your stomach's just feeling a little bloated, that's a good time for savory. Uh, colic with children, diarrhea and indigestion. It uh, has astringent properties, makes it great gargle. So if you take a little astringent, a little uh, savory in some hot water and gargle that for your sore throat. And then it's also used in toothpaste, toothpaste and soaps. Wow. Previous herb of the years are, are Timesia and elderberry. Yes. Can we discuss a little bit about those properties? Yeah, last year, and one of my favorites is Artesmia, which um, is, contains a lot of different herbs that are used for parasite control. Mm -hmm. And so that's wormwood and mugwort, or all or a couple of those. And then the, the year before that was elderberry. And elderberry uh, is one of my go-to for children for sickness and illness. And so it, it builds the immune system gently. And you can, it's got a berry flavor to it, so kids like to take it. So elderberry is more than just poisonous wine from our stuck old place. <laughs> right. <laughs> and of course, a lot more information available on your website. Yes, it is. And my website is www.phoenixwellnessforyou.com. That's Phoenix Wellness, the number four, the letter U.com. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Trudy Pieper from Phoenix Wellness in Johnstown, Ohio. Savory. It was savory. savory. It was savory. How often are you eating savory? I'd never heard of savory until about an hour ago. <laughs> Well, everything is going to change in the Lynch household from now on. It'll all be savory. Savory. Well